With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, if fx equal to x cube plus x square minus 16 x plus 20 divided by x minus 2 whole square for x not equal to 0 and k for x equal to 0 is continuous for all real values of x, find the value of k. So here in this question we are given fx and it has two definitions. The first one is for x not equal to 0 and the other is for x equal to 0. And we are given that this function fx is continuous. So here we need to find the value of k. So first of all if it is given that it is continuous for all real values of x and we need to find k and k is for what x equal to 0. So if it is continuous here so I can write that f of 0 plus will be equal to f of 0 minus will be equal to f of 0, right? And in this f of 0 plus and f of 0 minus, what we can do here? Limit x tends to 0 plus. Okay, so instead of x, I have written 0 plus here. And similarly, f of 0 minus will also be what? Limit x tends to 0 minus, right? So this will be the case. Or if I either rather simplify and write, so I can write that right hand limit should be equal to left hand limit and should be equal to f of 0 here. Why 0? Because here k is for x equal to 0. Now if we see this definition here for x not equal to 0, we can see a cubic polynomial in the numerator. So first I will try to simplify this cubic polynomial here. So it is x cube plus x square minus 16x plus 20. So, we, I'll try to factorize it. If I put x equal to 0, then we can see it is not equal to 0. We will have 20 here. If I put 1, so 1 plus 1 will be 2 and 2 plus 20 will be 22. And this will be minus 16. Again, it will not be 0. So, I'll try putting 2. So, if I put here x equal to 2, so what is the expression here? 2 cube 8, 2 square 4. 16 into 2 will be 32 and here plus 20. So, 8 plus 4 will be 12 and 12 plus 20 will be 32. And 32 minus 32, here I am getting 0. So, I can say that here x minus 2 will be a factor for this cubic polynomial. So, one of the factors is x minus 2. Now, here what is the first step? x cube. So, this x should be multiplied with what? x square. Now we will be having minus 2x square but we need x square, right? So in order to get plus x square, I will add here plus 3x. Okay, so minus 2x square and this plus 3x square, I will get x square. And then what we will get? Minus 6x but here it is what? Minus 16x. That means here we need minus 10x more. Okay, so minus 10x and minus 6x, we will have minus 16x and minus 2 into minus 10 will be plus 20. So I can factorize it like this. So now if I see the definition of fx again, so I can write here, see I can further simplify also. What I can do x minus 2 and for x square plus 3x minus 10, the factors will be x minus 2 into x plus 5. How? See, x into x will be what? x square here. And also if we see minus 2x plus 5x, it will be plus 3x and minus 2 into 5 will be minus 10. So now I can write here the numerator as x minus 2 how many times? 2 times. That means square into x plus 5 and denominator we already had x minus 2 whole square. This is for x not equal to 0. And the other definition was k for x equal to 0. Now if you see here this x minus 2 whole square I can easily cancel right. So now our fx is equal to we have simplified definition x plus 5 for x not equal to 0 and k for x equal to 0 right. Now I will be finding here right hand limit. So right hand limit that means so limit of x tends to 0 plus f of x. So, if I find this limit, that means the first definition I have to apply for 0 plus. So, what I am getting here? Limit x tends to 0 plus x plus 5. So, I can directly put the value of x equal to 0. So, I will get here 5. Similarly, if I find the left hand limit, 
I have to take here limit x tends to 0 minus f of x. So again if I take limit x tends to 0 minus again the definition will be x plus 5. Right. Because x is not equal to 0. Now I will put here 0. So again 5. So if you see here we have seen that right hand limit should be equal to left hand limit. And this should be equal to f of 0. Now if I talk about f of 0. So what is the value? K. And here if you see RHL and LHL both are 5. So therefore what we can conclude here that the value of K should be 5. Hence K equal to 5 will be our final answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.